You're going to be working around fuel here, so we want to take some basic safety precautions. As always, you should be wearing your safety glasses, but you should also be thinking about getting yourself a good set of chemical resistant gloves. Work in a well ventilated area away from any source of ignition, which would be a hot water heater or incandescent shop lights. But most importantly, have a fully charged and properly rated fire extinguisher handy and know how to use it. The fuel injector ports go directly into the engine. So before you begin, get a can of compressed air, yellow arrow, and blow all the dust and debris away from the injector ports, red arrows. You want to be working on a fuel system that's not under pressure. There are several ways to do this. The easiest one is to let the car sit overnight, then open the gas tank cap to help reduce any residual pressure. Never perform this job on a warm engine. Disconnect the four wiring harnesses from each injector by squeezing in the two clips, red arrow, on the harness and pulling straight up. Lay the connectors, red arrows, on the top of the engine and unclip the plastic wiring tray, yellow arrows, from the fuel rail. There are two fuel lines connected to the rail, the supply line, yellow arrow, and the return line, red arrow. Label and disconnect the lines. Be prepared to catch the small amount of fuel that will spill from them. Disconnect the small hose, yellow arrow, from the fuel pressure regulator, red arrow, at the end of the fuel rail. Remove the two 5mm Allen bolts, red arrow, holding the fuel rail to its mount. With everything removed, pull the injectors, yellow arrows, from their ports, red arrow. They pull straight up and out on the angle they're inserted in. They are only held in by friction at this point and you will feel them pop when they release. Set the injectors, red arrows, and the wiring harness on the top of the engine. Be sure to put a few rags in the open holes in the manifold to prevent anything from falling into the engine, yellow arrows. If you drop something into this hole, you must get it out before going any further. This hole goes directly into the cylinder head and will cause catastrophic damage if left in. The injectors are held on by metal clips and they can be pried or pulled off the rail, red arrow. Next, you can remove the injector from the rail by wiggling it out. It's just held in by the O-ring at this point, red arrow. New injectors come complete with new O-rings. Apply a small amount of lithium grease, red arrow, and reinstall. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.